Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to explore the technique used in case we have a differential equation that's missing the y term. For example, y double prime plus some function of t times y prime equals some other function of t. Notice the y term is missing. And notice that in this case we have a non-homogeneous equation. In this example, we're first going to find the homogeneous part of the solution. In the next video, we're going to find the non-homogeneous portion, the particular portion of the solution. So even though this is the original equation we're going to start with, and notice again the y term is missing, we're going to now only solve for the homogeneous portion of the equation. Remember, that's usually the biggest problem, the biggest challenge is to solve for this part of the solution. The way to do that is to turn this into a first order equation. For example, oh, I'm missing of course the y prime there. For example, what we're going to do is we're going to let u equals y prime and u prime therefore equals y double prime. By making that substitution, we turn a second order equation into a first order equation, which means we get u prime plus 4 over t times u is equal to 0. Now the next step is we're trying to find the integrating factor. The integrating factor can be found, which is what we call mu of t, that is equal to e to the integral of p of t dt. So that's known as the integrating factor that we use to solve differential equations with. Which means that p of t in this case is going to be 4 over t. So this is going to be equal to e to the integral of 4 over t dt. And of course, the 4 can come outside integral sign and 1 over t dt, when we integrate that, that's a natural log of t. So this becomes, oh, let's go over here, this becomes e to the 4 times the natural log of t, which means we can take the 4 and make it the exponent here. So this is equal to e to the natural log of t to the 4th power. Oh, this is a 4. And then, of course, that negates the exponential negates the natural log, so this is equal to t to the fourth power. That's called the integrating factor. Now to find u to solve the first order differential equation, we can say that u is equal to 1 over the integrating factor times the integral of the integrating factor multiplied times g of t plus a constant of integration. So we're going to multiply this times that, Notice that in this case, since we're solving the homogeneous portion of the solution, g of t is zero in this case. That's why we still have a plus constant of integration because this portion will go to zero. So this will be equal to one over mu, which is t to the fourth, so one over t to the fourth, times the integral of, that would be of course, t to the fourth, but multiplied times zero, and of course, I should have a dt in there, so let me plug in a dt because otherwise it doesn't work quite right. And then we have the plus c there as well. So put brackets around that, noticing now, of course, that this will go to zero, but we still have the constant. And so we know that then u is equal to the constant times t to the minus 4 power. Now that's the solution to the first order differential equation. We want the solution to the second order differential equation which means we need to go and use this right here, meaning that if we want to find y, we have to find the integral of u. So let's come over here. And so we know that y is going to be equal to the integral of u, and u, of course, is ct to the minus 4. So that means that y is equal to the integral of ct to the minus 4 times we need the dt, of course. Then when we integrate that, we get y is equal to c t to the minus 3, add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. And of course we have plus c, plus a constant of integration. And so this becomes y is equal to, that would be, and of course c divided by minus 3 is simply still a constant, so we call that c1 times t to the minus 3, plus we have a second constant of integration from this integration right here. And that becomes the solution to our homogeneous portion 
of the difference, differential equation where the y term is missing. So that's where we start. Now the next step would be to find the non-homogeneous part of solution and that we'll do in the second video.